NFL Countdown to Grey Cup, Sunday morning on TSN. Derek Handley winning the first two frames up by $100 over uh, Julian Chiasol. And that's three in a row now for Handley. So Julian now has to climb back in here. Throw a good first ball this time. That's a better looking shot. Okay, stands the right corner. Loses the frame. But a better ball and a better delivery. Julian is the current Nova Scotia Provincial record holder for three game total, 11-12. And in that 11-12 uh, included a perfect game. This time we have to wait. That ball went by the corner pin and just rebounded off the back cushion and came back up the channel. So we're going to get that retrieved. And then Julian will be able to execute his last shot here in the third. Picks up the final pin for 15 and now finds himself down three frames to none. But he gets the opportunity to lead off four. Pulls at the St. Bernard goal in Digby, and that's the way to put a little pressure now on Derek Handley. There's a much better shot now as he goes into this one, well balanced at the finish, stretches through the shot at the end of the delivery, and pushes all five pins back. Wow. Up to the task, fourth in a row. I tell you what, he has had the habit of getting on the run. He has pulled five perfect games. Four of them coming in a single month. Well, they weren't perfect. They were 400 games. I'm sorry. Ouch. Drills it back through the middle. And four perfect shots to start things off and then just marginally off, drills the head pin, and it's on the carryover though. So can he cover the two sides? He doesn't spin it over in time. Okay, opportunity now for Julian. Would you rather be a streaky bowler as he appears to be at times, considering his 400 games and four of them in one month, or would you rather be more consistent? I personally, I prefer the consistent level. It doesn't play as many games with your mind, then, but uh, uh, when you get on a roll, it's, uh, it is fun. Okay, here we go now with Julian. Got a better 13 points. Can pick up the two frames, four and five. Yeah, he's won no money so far. Second miss now on the middle on the first ball. One back in the first. He converted that one. Uh, drives the head pin straight back on the second attempt. One more chance now to pick up the two frames. gives it away. So five frames now for Derek Handley and a huge pinfall advantage 161 versus Julian's 78 through five frames. And now he's starting to press a little bit. This time a miss to the right side. Got to have this spare and then start lighting up the strikes. Julian has competed nationally. He finished seventh in the 1990 five pin national open. And this is really where it starts to get tough now. You, you know you're pretty much eliminated. You start to press a little more and only a 10 count and that's probably the end of his hopes.
Derek Handley who opened up with four strikes then had the open in five needs to better ten here to win the money and clinch himself a spot in the quarters he'll move on now he'll play either Terry Little or Steve Mayer in the quarters we welcome Derek's wife Leanna from Castlegar, BC to Frank Sisson's Silver Dollar Casino and Bowl. Got it working real nice. That sole blemish back in the fifth with a head pin. Other than that, perfection, six strikes out of seven attempts. Oh. When it goes wrong, it goes really wrong. Another frame for Derek Hanley. A wry smile for Julian. Just have to get the pin reset. Uh, that left corner came toppling down. Uh, the pins went by so fast that it did pull enough string out to trigger the machine into thinking it was over. And you know, this shows the best, uh, there's the best and the worst of the format. And this is one of maybe the things that the bowlers will say, you know, I've got no chance to recover. If Julian is in a tournament and you're playing a three or four or five games, you can sort of throw this one away. You can try to dig yourself out of yeah. the hole, exactly. But he can't. I mean, this is, it's done for him. Yep. All you can do is try to finish off in a respectable fashion, pick up some more money, and 11 is the best he can do here now. Brings his total for seven frames up to a meager 99. Joining us, of course, and watching on the left is uh, Joe Cranabetter. On the right, Robert Shannis. They are the first two qualifiers for the semifinal. Both and very impressively. And the big frame for Julian would have been back in the fifth. He had an opportunity to pick up two frames right there. The match would have been 3-2 at that point. He struggled since then a little bit, but only counting that 10 in there and letting that frame get away when he only needed 15 was the real turning point here in this match. And now Derek just cruising along. Opportunity, perhaps, to sweep. Well, he's probably going to pick up his eighth. Ten count is what he's got a better. Working on two strikes. Make wow, that three. Great action. And you know, it's overused, the mental toughness in any sport. But I think in a situation like this, this is where, in a case of Julian, it really shows itself. He has to bear down and not let the game get away from him as Derek is on a run here. Derek has other ideas about that, but uh, yeah, he's got to sit there and just go in, try to focus in on one shot at a time, stay nice and smooth. He didn't earn his way here by not being a good bowler, but there's the ninth frame for Derek. And the potential here as well as we look back and remind you that just before Christmas, of course, we had Joe Cranabetter, who bowled the record 395. And as you look ahead here at Handley and what he's got on the board, what is his potential? He's got 135 sticks left, and that would throw a 386. Both BC bowlers out there at the top of the list. So finally, after four consecutive open frames, Julian gets a little taste with a mark here. Wants to avoid being swept. Oh my! He was looking at aces, then he's looking at the left corner. Falls down at the same time with the final left corner for the strike. Gets his first break of the match. So one strike posted. Two more, he guarantees himself a split. 
There it is. Look at that. Eh? You, could, you know what? You could see it, Greg, in his eyes. You could see the little glint, the little happiness in his eyes that he got that first one. And the pressure's off. Yeah. Got three. He does. Sure does. Great so finish. Guaranteed a split. Good for you, Julian. And that late rush brings him up to 184. There's one. Five in a row now. Starts with four. The head pin in five. Now five strikes in a row. Needs two more to split the final frame. There's the second one. Wow, what a game. Just the uh, open fifth. One more strike for 386. If he would have picked all his wood there, he would have had 388. It's only two points, but you never know. It may come in important down the line. Perfection. Ah, the other head pin. A 35 count final frame over to Julian. And so he doesn't get shut out. He'll pick up $50. But the big winner, Derek Handley from Castle Gar, BC. As he advances to the quarterfinals, he bowls a 376 and wins $450.